Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? In this month's episode of Throwback Thursday, we're going to find out more about this baker and all the yummy muffins he makes. So stay tuned. Welcome back to another fun episode of my series in Planet Coaster, Throwback Thursday. I've got something special for you guys this month. We're going to take a closer look at my workshop print, The Muffin Man Bakery, a fun shop that I made as part of the collaboration with the Realms of Rhymes park that Dragon Slayer was doing. This is, I'm going to put my little timeline here to show where the Muffin Man fits on the workshop where, where I had made this in my timeline. So you have seen Old King Coles by now. That was the first blueprint that I had made for the collaboration. And then I went on to make uh, five, fat, five Fat Sausages. And then I went on to do, this was my next shop that I made. And this is really special to me. Let's talk about the, the uh, oh my gosh, the outside, the exterior details first. As you can see, we've got the king here, and after watching Willabix make that dope king in Old King Coles, I took a stab at doing my, like, very similar of uh, making a head, the Muffin Man head. And I had found an image from the internet and copied his face uh, from, you know, just trying to recreate his face as best as I can. So the, the original image had a chef's hat for his head, and I thought, being the Muffin Man Bakery, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a muffin hat instead. And so I did that, and I'm really proud of it. It turned out really dope. And I did blueberry muffin, because, oh my gosh, who doesn't love blueberry muffins? <laughs> Anyhow, so... I took my stab at this, and I was really proud at how he turned out. And I decided to do uh, like a thatch roof, 
kind of like an old time. I did a lot of research kind of to help get uh, generate like ideas of how I wanted to go about making this and I need to gather it all but I wanted to keep everything like muffin themed so if you can tell like you know the cupcake liners that you have or the the, the muffin liners I carried that theme with uh, with with these planners down here these are little um, the, the chocolate cups and they work perfectly for little planters but then also little muffin liners too and I wanted everything to be cohesive but uh, when I made this, you know, I, I, I like putting little details in it. So, of course, the Muffin Man is based on a simple nursery rhyme. And, you know, being in the realm of rhymes collaboration, I thought this would be a perfect fit to it. And, you know, when I was looking into the research, a lot of theories on the Muffin Man and its origins and yeah Snopes is not too according to Snopes the theory of it being having a, a darker history um, being inspired by like a 16th century serial killer is unproven not to say it's it's it is or isn't but just unproven but yeah I was like I did some deep dives on here I'm like okay but for me I really like the song. I sang it with my kids and oh my gosh, I wrote down the rhymes or stories that I thought would be a fun thing that I could that I could pull off. And so this was one of them and I had a lot of ideas and and so like so according to the song, you know, he lives on Drury Lane. So I've got like a little sign there. Yeah, I thought, you know, I had, I, instead of doing an interior where they go into the actual shop, I thought this one, you could just go up and, and order muffins. And I had a lot of fun. Also, kind of, I like when creators will kind of cover up the inside of the shop. Because basically, you have a shop. Let me see if I can. I use this shop. And as you can see, I mean, it has some really cool bake, you know, bake baking things in here, but it wasn't really muffins. So I thought, well, I'm gonna cover it up and then theme it. You know, I kept the, I liked the the bakery hat over it, but then I put muffins in here. So I did little details of little muffins in here. And before I uh, show more of the interior. I liked using uh, the, the shop buildings, the Bavarian walls, because it has already built in uh, details in it. And it's helpful when you're working on a collab and you don't know, you're trying to be efficient and conscientious of not having to have something really, really super detailed that's gonna add to, you know, however, however, however many other people are creating in there and it can get really laggy. So I was trying to be conscientious, but it gives details without like adding more pieces to it, if that makes sense. But I have like little bits of realism, like this is the back door and, you know, trash cans and boxes. And, you know, I, I, I imagine the muffin man to live upstairs, you know, come down early. The, he'd have to come down early in the morning time and start baking and stuff for everybody to get their freshly baked muffins in the morning and the day. And it also, yeah, I made it kind of, so this building is not a rectangle or a box that I've up to this point was notorious for making. Um, it's more of a triangle. So I've moved from squares and rectangles to triangles. <laughs> um, but it, it helped because I had to make it big enough for this head for, for him to be on here. Um, <laughs> and I didn't want to do another box. I, I was like, oh, really trying to break free from that and make it interesting. And I thought it did it, you know, for my skill set at the time that I made this, I thought I did pretty good. So inside, I also wanted to make it 
have have details inside and interacting. So you could actually path the have the path go up to here and actually around the whole entire thing. Maybe having it go right on inside where you could see the muffin man doing some baking. And again, just like I did with Old King Coles and Five Fat Sausages, I put the Muffin Man rhyme in here. And then I did a basic shape of the Muffin Man. And I'm really proud of this cute Muffin Man. I think he looks very similar to the one up here. I mean, you know, smaller, of course, but yeah. And his little uh, chef hat is a little deflated from all the steam coming from here. <laughs> But I was really tickled with how this came out. It just, this, this is a, a window and I put some steam coming out from here or did I, 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 oh gosh, it's been so forever. Let me see here. Yeah, I must have put some steam. I, yeah, I did. Okay. Okay. I'm really, oh, hang on, I'm just gonna. So just like I did with all my other shops, Prior to the Muffin Man, I included the little nursery rhyme of the Muffin Man. And you can, instead of me reading it to y'all, you can just pause it and read it. But I'm really proud of my basic shape art Muffin Man. I tried to create him, have him look as close as I could to the Muffin Man up here. And his, his I made his chef hat a little droopy, uh, figuring that from all the steam and baking, it was getting hot in here, kind of deflated. There was a purpose to that. I didn't, you know, so. But yeah, um, I had started after doing him. I had made him first. And then I thought, okay, well, I can do big, but, you know, I, I need to do smaller. And around this time, so just to give you a little bit of background, while I was working on the shops, I had also started working on a coaster track layout for a story that I had to go. I had agreed to, in, in the realm of rhymes, I had agreed with Amori that I would do four shops and that I would do a coaster track layout of some kind and a flat ride and for my participation in the collab that I thought that's that's a, a nice chunk for me to do and I kind of straddled this like I did I think the first two yeah I think I did the shops and then I worked simultaneously with um trying to work on my coaster track layout for a story that I had an idea of doing um and I'll, I'll talk more it was the bedtime well not it was Maryland and her adventures that was the uh, coaster that I was trying to work on and I had visions of that and I thought that would go perfect in that collaboration as well but that's for another video but I had started working on the track layout and after I worked on the muffin man it gave me more confidence of being able to work on on um, other characters oh yeah and I also did another flat ride I think I did two flat rides that I think yeah I did yeah, because I forgot about the Three Little Pigs and the Big Bad Wolf. Oh, that's for another episode this year, too. <laughs> okay, anyhow, so I did the detail in there. And we already looked out here. But then I like this, too, where you don't have to go inside, but you can kind of peek through the window and you, again, see the Muffin Man, you know, doing his thing and, you know, making all kinds of different muffins, getting them ready to frost and you know, the batter and little ingredients to go inside of there. I was really tickled. I really liked this. Not to toot my own horn, but yeah, I was I was really pleased with how it turned out. It looks better at night. Kind of just peeking on in. Here he is in the early morning hours, getting things ready for us to come in and eat his yummy muffins. But I was really proud. This was one, this is one of the shops that I've made that I'm really proud of. Everything pretty much for my skill set at the time, I was, I feel in my heart that I was able to deliver on what I thought I could do. And yeah, I mean, I'm sure other creators can do even better than I can. And that's great and stuff, but you know, 
happy, ooh, hello, um, happy for what I was able to achieve. Oh, let's see how many piece counts this is. All right. I guess, you know, I know that, um, so total it's 936, yeah, 936 pieces. So just under a thousand, I could have added more to this blueprint, but I, I, I really was trying to be conscious. I didn't want to go as sparingly as I did with Old King Coles, but yeah, I definitely could have done more. If this was just for like to do without going into a collaboration, definitely hands down, I would have gone ham with more detail because how I feel I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below, <laughs> but I feel like most of the stuff, like when we create things, I have no expectations of people putting my creations in their parks. People want to do their own things in their parks and have it spot spotlighted. So I really haven't come across many people to take blueprints other than Amori. Amori is amazing and web searcher that they'll take uh, community, they'll do community parks and take some of their favorite blueprints and put them in parks and stuff. But very rarely do I see that happening. So when we build, we build for ourselves and hey, here's this and you know, it's on the workshop and I I don't know, I don't think a lot of people use our, our blueprints. So, and that's okay. I think it, um, anyhow, I, I, I wanted to be conscientious of where, you know, just for my fellow collaborators. I'm gonna also include some footage of the shop in the actual park that I had created this for, that Amori and Mio Art had done an amazing job placing this in there. So you'll see that and how it fits along with everything else in that really fun park. But yeah, I'm really proud of this. It, the details both exterior as, as along with interior, I, I feel that I was able to get, you know, pay attention to the little details and that from little uh, things like from the special effects of the smoke, you know, you can kind of just let your imagination kind of, you know, pick up the aroma of freshly baked pastries and, you know, just it all adds to it. You know, you don't have smell in this game, but like it gives you that visual thing that, oh, you know, if you did, you know, you could smell the the muffins being baked and the, the sweet frosting and ingredients, the blueberries and the chocolate chips. But yeah, I, I like trying to create as much immersion and uh, details to be, I like looking at details. I look, I love checking out other people's uh, creations and, you know, uh, seeing where they put things and, and just getting lost in it. It, yeah, taking them on, on that little uh, inside your imagination and and stuff. You tell a story with these details. Uh, so, yeah, and then let me see. I could have sworn I had a hidden smiley somewhere. Where is my hidden smiley? Give me just a sec, y'all. Where are you, hidden smiley? I'm wondering. Where did I put it? Oh my gosh, it's bad, but you don't even know where you put it. Oh, I don't know. I thought, I, oh, hang on. I thought it was right here. Did I not have it, Smiley? I'm fired. Oh, look, I, I even had like, um, like a little towel, a hand towel. I can't believe I'm fired. I, I'm going to fire myself. I didn't put any hidden Smiley in here. Sacrilege. Sacrilege. Okay, yeah. There's no hidden smiley. I wonder if I hit it like a smiley face in the muffin itself. Yeah, I did not do. I'm kind of shocked. I usually put like a hidden smiley. Let people know, hey, my little stamp of approval. I'm really kind of bummed. Not gonna lie. What the fuck was I thinking? Yeah, I could have done it right there. Right, right there would have been good. Ah. Well, damn. Hot dang. 
All right. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> I made this, though. <laughs> ah, I'm kind of bummed. We're, oh, well. I have to be more conscientious. I like, I like hiding my hidden smiles in my creations. It makes me... I love, like, when I go to Disneyland, uh, when I've gone there and looking for all the hidden Mickeys, and I uh, start doing it in my artwork, on my, uh, on all kinds of my artwork. It didn't matter how small it was or how large it was, and I incorporated that in all of my builds in Planet Coaster, except for the Muffin Man. Uh, oh well. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm rambling. Don't want to take up all of your time, so I'm going to wrap this up. So looking at all the details and checking out the muffins and all, what? Let, let me know in the comments below what your favorite flavor of muffin is. I'm really curious to know. Would you order something from here, the red velvet, the pumpkin spice, or chocolate chip? Or would you, or the blueberry, of course, I didn't put that on the menu, but of course, you know that the Muffin Man makes blueberry muffins as well. Is there something that's not on the menu that you would get from the Muffin Man? Like a, a different flavor? Let me know. I'm curious to see what you guys like. Thank you guys so much for joining me in another edition of Throwback Thursday featuring the Muffin Man Bakery. I really hope that you enjoyed this sweet adventure. And as always, if you have any ideas or suggestions for future episodes, let me know in the comments below. I know I keep talking about the comments today. <laughs> But no, I, I really like to hear, like, you know, uh, your thoughts. Uh, I, I appreciate your time in watching this video. I know there's a lot of content on YouTube. And for you to stop by and watch this, it really means a lot to me. And, you know, if I, if I, I can't, I'm not going to make any guarantees that I will make a video. But gathering interests, things that float your boat, I definitely will write it down and ponder it and see if I can incorporate that into my channel or not. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day and until next month's edition of Throwback Thursday, peace, love, and blessed be. Bye y'all!